Hey guys, Abby here. Today I have with me a very special guest that came all the way from California to see me. Um, I have Tucci from BBC Podcast with joining me today. Yep. Welcome. Here in person, ready to go. I'm excited. So we're going to talk a little bit about fetishes, you know, something in kinks, something that we're all familiar with here on our channel. Um, so yeah, let's have a little conversation about it and get each other's opinions and yeah, sure. kind of take it from there. I'm still learning a lot too, so I guess I, I mean, <laughs> I'll ask you. We'll well, I, I am by no means an expert. <laughs> I do a lot of research, I'm not oh. going to lie. How much do you learn? Do you think you learn from an actual like, subscriber that's always like asking you the questions thing? Um, I actually think that I kind of learn a lot because if someone asks something that I don't necessarily know, mm -hmm. I will research it. Um, I spend a lot of time looking on the internet and researching things, so it's what I do. Um, but yeah, I, I always have new things thrown at me and that's, you know, I get to the internet and mm. start looking. Mm. Like this smoking fetish thing. Like I never knew it was a thing until thing my husband until. pointed it out to me and you know, here we are almost three years later channel going strong and now we're talking about all kinds of fetishes and not just smoking fetishes so right now what is your most popular one what what fetish is like growing the most um channel wise or just in, just in request wise I in request wise i do get a lot of information or requests for information about cuck holding um and somewhat the swingers style lifestyle um, I do get a lot of questions about how to go about finding people um, That's a big thing. yeah yeah and it's not always so easy because I know some of um, my viewers here have um, you know they're in other countries so I don't necessarily know um, what they have Depending available on yeah, yeah. Okay. but do you have sites that um, you might use? I would say I've seen um, here on the western region of the U.S. Uh, mm -hmm. You're probably gonna see like Fed Life, and um, they like to use. I don't know if you just have it out here and everything, but they um, it's called Double Lift, I think. I don't think that I've ever uh, heard I'll of that. I'll probably show you that. Yeah, with this uh, website called Double List, it's kind of like something like a craigslist but it's actually more updated and more just built just for exploring couples singles and stuff like that okay um interesting yeah. i'll then, have to look that up double list huh double list okay it's, uh, it's real well, well over there it's real, pop it's real popular but i see a lot of major cities on there though too so i'm sure okay. you, you guys should have something out here okay interesting uh, have you ever like heard of it um, I found this one interesting, the Ashley Madison website. Have you heard of that? I, I've heard of it, but it, it looks so, I guess, so fancy that I wouldn't know if it's like legit, if it's just like a company that's actually just taking your membership and then it's really like difficult to find anybody or whatever, but um, I've seen it before. And yeah. It, it, it looks like really, really fancy. So I'm guessing it's real popular. It has to be legit. Yeah, it is. And actually, um, I did a video on it because I saw a documentary on it. It is m more like the swinger lifestyle, but it's, um, you know, uh, more like cheating. Mm. It's meant mm. for people who are in relationships that are seeking outside, outside okay. um, excitement to uh, go, and it's supposed to be real hush-hush. Um, but the documentary was uh, a few years back, they had a big security breach and all the names of all the people like that were in User. their system and using it secretly um, ended up leaking out all over the place and like 
there was lawsuits like crazy and everything else, of course. But <laughs> yeah, and I'm probably sure divorce lawyers made some money in the process of that yeah. week too. <laughs> but um, yeah. I don't know what you want there. Um, are more couples or more single men seeking this lifestyle? Um, I don't, it's hard to say. Um, I've seen a lot of both. Um, I think it may be harder for a single man. Um, maybe. I don't know. Um, to find that perfect pair. Um, for couples, uh, like on the female side of it, the couple side of it, like, I find that running into, um, people flaking out a lot and people saying yeah like one of my things is I you know I want something that's a little more substantial a little something that's a little more long term um, don't really necessarily want a revolving door in my bedroom okay. um, so finding people that say that they are looking for the same thing versus what they're actually looking for in reality is very different sometimes. And I find that to be very discouraging. Um, you know, or you meet someone and they're good for a couple times and then they're like, yeah, I'm bored with this and mm. take off. So I don't know. Um, but then like the single, the single guy side of it, I would imagine it would be difficult just because, I mean, I'm sure it has its own challenges, um, like going to clubs and stuff like that, yeah, like sure. we had discussed, right. um, you know, you they don't allow sing, single men to come in, you have to be like a guest or partnered yeah. with a couple. How do, you, how do you feel about the single men getting charged less so high as that, you think that's like, okay? The single men getting what? Like, say, like, if there's like a hosting party and like the single men are getting charged like $150 to come in, do you think that's fair? Or? No, I don't. I don't think it's fair at all. <laughs> like, if, if you were to host your own party, like, what do you think is fair? Like, if you were to create like a menu? I mean, I would just charge everybody the same. Like, no matter whether there's couples or singles, you know? Yeah, I, I mean, I think that would be fair. Okay. You know, if you charge like 50 bucks a couple, a single guy, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Okay. You know, um, but that's my personal opinion. Um, Being a woman, like, do you feel like it's okay to have more of a guy girl ratio, like more guys over girls, or would you try to get it balanced out? I would definitely try to balance it out. Um, so how can you convince the women to come play? Right. Not always easy to do. Um, like my husband and I, we are very, um, we keep all of this really, aside from being on here. Um, you know, we don't really talk about it with like a, a lot of our close friends because a lot of close, our close friends are vanilla. Um, so, you know. I don't know. Me personally, the more attention I can get, the better for me. <laughs> okay. You know, stroke my ego. Um, but I tend to be an attention hog sometimes. <laughs> A little okay. bit, admittedly. So, yeah. Okay. I mean, have you, like, come into any... It's just like as if, if you're like a guy just trying to get to the lifestyle it's just really difficult you know you have it'd be easier to have that partner that you enter in with to be able to explore like the whole thing because if not like there's no it's like really mm -hmm. difficult you have to be like a kind of i don't know i would say kind of more on the upper echelon type of guy like the top tier type of guy to be able to like get requested by couples and okay and get in there okay so, yeah I mean, I could see that. Yeah, because like a regular average guy, it's like hard to even just get, like I said, you just be paying, blowing money. And, and I, I think uh, what a lot of guys need to focus on too, and not just automatically think just because you pay to in, enter in the door, 
doesn't mean you're automatically gonna get to play honestly because like the couples have to agree to play with you so really right. I mean you pretty much pay to get in there and see to be visible in person and, and watch but it's not guaranteed that you're that the people will play with you yeah, yeah. I can see where that would be difficult um, like do you think meet and greets now you've said you've done meet and greets yeah. right do you think those are beneficial yeah to I, that lifestyle yeah because you actually organically interact with the people mm -hmm. and you actually get to see whether it's either like single the single women or just single um i mean or uh being a single guy you can actually interact with single women and couples at the same time okay so i think so that's actually been more beneficial than then i guess you would say straight to the point would be paying to get in the door but like i said like if you're not making the cup the couple themselves feel comfortable to where they should engage with you and play with you it's not it's not automatic it's not guaranteed like, right yeah. right so just make sure the guys don't think that they're going to be paying for full access it's just you're paying just for entry really okay yeah i get that i i could see where that would be more beneficial especially for um a single guy because like i know if i uh, hubby and i have um yet to venture into a club and um i don't know that i would necessarily play with anyone yeah you might just go there and just I, see what's there like right i think for me i would probably just go you know kind of mingle and talk yeah. to people and stuff but I don't know that I would necessarily play with anyone. I would want to get a feel for, um, you know, the atmosphere and what's going on mm -hmm. and kind of just see how things run. So, yeah. How, how do you feel real quick about um, speaking on couples and, and then interacting together about like um, soft swaps and, and full swaps? Um, couple wise? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's okay. I. We've done that a couple times, um, both soft and hard, you know, playing um, in the same room, yeah. not playing in the same room. Right. So, yeah, I mean, if it's your thing, yeah. okay. you know. I was wondering, like, if um, people would recommend it for, like, that's kind of like if you're a couple and you're going to be doing it with your girl, that's like kind of like baby steps to do, like. A soft swap or just watching first to kind of get your feet wet like before it just jump before jumping in, in. Yeah. yeah that's that's a good idea actually that's a really good tip there you go guys if you're uh wanting to explore with your significant other and she's a little hesitant i know in the beginning i was very hesitant um i knew what i wanted but i still was hesitant and nervous like oh, i don't know about this whole situation you're more nervous about like the the person you guys want to play with or are you more nervous about the reaction about your husband the reaction mm -hmm. the reaction and how that was gonna play into our relationship and you know if that was gonna break it down i think that was my big fear okay. um, more than anything was that it was just gonna be like the beginning of the end and break mm -hmm. it down so yeah okay. okay so i have a question for you yeah. <laughs> uh, um I'm, I'm gonna get kind of uh, i don't know maybe i'm gonna t dig a little deeper into this subject huh. um do you know of or have you ever um heard of or seen um m uh, men who are bulls um like show up to the couple's house and they go to play and the spouse's husband wants to watch and all of a sudden the bull who thinks he's all in for it um can't perform yeah i think i've, I've, I've heard of that because um that's a presence of lifestyle that he said when he first actually started mm -hmm. to engage with it that he was more expecting like the husband to engage but then he said that they actually like went setting was like a hotel room or something like that and the husband just set up a camcorder and kind of turned his back and was just like watching tv the whole time and then he had like a half room space i guess with the, mm -hmm. the wife 
by herself and he said like being his first time he said he was just like kept on looking over his shoulder like not sure like it's kind of the same thing that you were saying like having performance anxiety because he was like right. is he allowed to do this not allowed to do that like Mm-hmm. And so he said, like, yeah, it was actually having him freeze up, and he wasn't able to, wasn't able to perform that, like, like, like how he thought he was. You know, the, the imagination, and you're being told it, and you're thinking about the fantasy, right. when it actually is there. Like a lot of people can't perform. I honestly think that a lot of men can't perform it if other people are watching. I think, like, yeah. I think more than fifty percent can't even. Yeah. Can do it. And if they do, I say another tw- add another twenty five percent to the man that claimed that can. But they have to be some type of, some on some type of substance. They have to be high. They have to be drunk, or like that way that courage gets built up, and then they can do. Right. Yeah. Then they they're not so afraid of being watched. I get that. Yeah, I I actually re- <laughs> ran into that once. You know, speaking of bad experiences, you kind of go through people, and it just it was crazy. Um, this guy that I had talked to, he's like, yeah, I've been to Bull before, I've done all this, da da da, like he was all experienced and been in the lifestyle for so long and everything else, um, claimed that he was single and this, that and the other. And um, come the time where he, you know, we had invited him over to play and like all of a sudden he just kind of got gun shy and couldn't perform and he's like you know i'm sorry i just i'm married and i can't do this to my wife and he left and i was like are you kidding me (laughs) like what the hell and how long was the build up like you guys had been talking and conversation yeah i mean we were talking for maybe a couple of weeks at this point so yeah passed up his opportunity to just back out and say never mind right yeah. right <laughs> and you know and like i don't know how you feel about this but like we don't we don't do drama yeah in yeah. in our relationship that's yeah. just yeah no this lifestyle is not for the it's, it's not uh, it's either you're fully in or you're fully out you can't be Halfway out, halfway out, because like it just doesn't work. You're trying to you're trying to live the fantasy while you're gonna be having to hide it too. So like, it's too much. Right, yeah. right, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's. Um, have you ever had anyone become emotionally attached to you, like if, you know, from the bull side side of things? No, I think I think maybe I guess I, the way the couples have it set up is it's like out of respect. I think. Okay. So maybe they maybe that's how they they have it set up. I guess. Okay. Yeah, because I could see, um, I could see where it would, you know, emotions could, yeah, uh, sure. with time, Especially emotions when chemistry could become involved. Like, right, yeah. right. Um, so you kind of have to keep that mindset to, you know, keep your mind in check a little bit when you're doing, you know, engaging in that kind of play. Um, because I could totally see where it would happen. Um, you know, um, I've had several partners who, like you said, like I favored them. Um, never really that I became emotionally attached to them. Um, it was more of a, I'm fond of you. Yeah. Like you're cool, like I could hang out with you yeah. and you know, like I said, the vibes of the communication, the energy is good, so it right. just becomes like natural for you to be yourself, and it's just kind right. of right. Like, easy. hey, we're gonna watch the game and have some pizza. Yeah. You want to come over yeah. and hang yeah. with us? You yeah. know, um, sort of thing. Um, but I could see where if someone is not careful, you know, and you know, respecting and knowing the yeah. boundaries of all of that. Coming from a woman's side, like, is 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 it difficult to not get? Attached if, if it's you're playing with a regular? Um, no, okay. for me, no, uh-huh. because um, I feel very secure in my relationship and my marriage. Um, I know I'm not going anywhere, he knows, you know, he knows he's yeah. not going anywhere, vice versa. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day. I'm the, you know, he's the one I go to bed with yeah. and wake up to yeah. every morning, vice versa. Um, 
and that's not going to change. So we kind of have that mindset. You just kind of have to really be very secure in your relationship um, to engage in this lifestyle for sure because yeah, if there's any sort of crack in the foundation, it's just, it's going to crumble eventually, yeah. I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Thank yeah. You. Have you had any uh, hot wives or anything? No, I was running through that for, through you. I, I, yeah. didn't even know, I didn't even know. I think I've heard of it, but I didn't know what was the setting for it. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. It's like everybody just I don't know, it, you know, you have this definition, this one definition of this one term in this lifestyle, and there are so many different nuances. Um, you know, kind of like the smoking fetish. A lot of my viewers have a smoking fetish. Um, well, what is what type of smoking fetish do you have? You know, some like to see bright red lipstick with the lipstick stain on a white cigarette. Um, some of them like to see the bright red lipstick stain on a cork cigarette. Um, you know, some of them like to see cleavage with a, <laughs> you know, um, some of them, a lot of them love seeing this, this leather case. Um, you know, and it reminds them, uh, I have one guy that loves to see the lighters. Um, so yeah, it's just, you know, the little nuances. Yeah. And I think like with cuckolding and hot wifing and all that, um, it's, I think it's just the little nuances that make it different. Um, I don't know, I, I guess if I had to put a label on it for myself and my husband, it were like the hot wife um, stag okay. dynamic. For the most part, okay. But we do swing as well, so you know. Can you tell me what's the difference between hot wife and cuckolding? Hot wifing and cuckolding. Um, hot wife is typically the man um, will you know either participate or watch. Um, will sit there and help you find someone to play with. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's no humiliation. Humiliation is really the biggest part of it. Um, the cuckolding is the biggest part of it is the humiliation part. Like, the, so is there, is there no cuckolding without the humiliation? Yeah, that's like the hot wife stag vixen type dynamic um yeah the cuckolding is you know where like the man the husband sits off in the corner sometimes they'll put the he'll be in chastity um you know sometimes he wants to be humiliated like literally humiliated like you know telling him his penis is too small or you know whatever you know like you're not man enough to please your wife or things like that um and he wants that um that type of humiliation um that's what does it for them um so yeah it, that's the biggest difference is the humiliation factor so yeah, not experienced that, I assume. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know that I would ever be able to do that. Um, you know, I don't, I, I look at my husband and, and I as we're equals, you know, um, we're equal parts in the relationship. I don't look at him as less than. Um, not even for fun because I love him too much to do something like that. Um, I could never do it. I could never do that humiliation aspect. So that would have to be like a kink for the for the woman as well to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and you know, some of them will. Hey, hubby, you can clean up while you're here. Um, 
you know, um, some people take it as far as, you know, the man interacting with the man, so to speak, mm. um, as a form of humiliation. Mm. Um, you know, it's just a matter of the dynamic that they have and what does it for them, I guess. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's so funny. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, I think that is all we're going to talk about today. Yeah, we'll leave that just for this episode right here. <laughs> yes. Um, Thank you all for joining us um, again, Tunchi. Thank you no, for coming sure. all this Any way time. and hanging with me. <laughs> sure. um, do you want to promote your? Oh yeah, for sure. I, mean, I don't know if you guys have looked and seen. Uh, I actually, need to get your whole copy so you can put it on your channel as well. But uh, we interviewed this sweet woman right here, and she gave us a lot of info that I didn't know about, and I'm pretty sure you guys already know because she takes care of you guys on her channel. Um, but with uh, mental improvement and, and uh, getting your mental straight with when it comes to dating and women and keeping your relationship straight, uh, come on over to BBC Podcast 909. Uh, that's for pretty much all platforms on YouTube mainly. And uh, we have after hour shows, um, interview private interviews and stuff like that with uh, people bringing in their genre and sharing with us so we can expand also. So thank you again for having right. me. Yes, and I will put the links to his socials in the description below and don't forget to check it out and subscribe yep we'll see you guys soon bye, bye everyone